Good morning. Let me read to you this morning from Mark chapter 10, verses 42 through 45. So Jesus called them together and said, You know that the rulers in this world lord it over their people, and officials flaunt their authority over those under them. But among you, it will be different. Whoever wants to be a leader among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first among you must be the slave of everyone else. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. You know, there are many different leadership gurus out there and their books uh, that can help people develop their leadership skills. A few of the best include um, Jim Collins, Good to Great. It's actually a very good book on leadership, moving from good to great. Uh, Stephen Covey, it's an older book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And then I think even a little bit older than that is Spencer Johnson's book, the One Minute Manager. They've been bestsellers for years, books on leadership and how to develop leadership skills. You know, uh, all of these are written from a secular perspective. They're not written from a Christian perspective. Uh, but if you'd like to hear from a Christian perspective, you could find some Christian leadership books like uh, John Maxwell, Developing the Leader Within You, or um, Ken Blanchard, lead like Jesus. Very good books. Written about leadership from a Christian perspective. In some of these books, even the secular ones, include this most important element that Jesus is talking about here. Uh, he says that one of the characteristics of a good leader, one of the essential characteristics of a good leader is to understand that as a leader you're serving. Um, serving is one of the most critical components of leadership. Now, I know that the very idea of service in our culture, in our world, is not something that is easily adopted by many of those people who are in leadership. However, you'll find that among those who talk about leadership and successful leaders, and especially when you talk about Christian leadership, that being a servant leader is, is absolutely essential. Um, they may use a different term, but essentially they're saying the same thing. Good leaders will be servant leaders like Jesus was. Jesus was willing to get dirty. Um, he was willing to do menial things. He put others' interests before his own. And he sacrificed for those around him. He was a leader, but he led by his service. If you find that the Lord has placed you in a position of leadership, whether it's as a business leader, um, a leader in a secular organization, uh, a leader in church, wherever it may be. If he's placed you in a position of leadership, it could be a very small group that you're leading. But if you're that leader, um, there are plenty of resources out there that can help. However, the most important advice that I have ever received was to be a servant leader willing to get dirty willing to do menial tasks sacrificing myself like Christ sacrificed himself for us you could do a lot worse than that advice pray with me Lord We ask that in those times where you call us to lead, that we would learn to lead like you did.
to lead as a servant leader. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, friends, pray you have a good day. We'll see you tomorrow.